Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about links. Of course, links is the foundation of everything on the web in general. As you'll notice, all of these things are links. Everything you can click on in a page is link. So it's very important to master how you work with links in SharePoint. It's not a small subject, it's a rather big subject. So I'm going to have a series of demonstrations on how to work with links here. First of all, you need, of course, to go into the edit mode of a page. And then on the insert page here, there's the link. And as you see, there are two options here. You can link from SharePoint and you can link from address. So linking from SharePoint gives you this dialog where you can select anything that's within your site collection. You can also type in an address, but then you're back to the regular address. So uh, what I usually do is just click around to the different options here or the different content within my site. I'll just insert this link here. As you'll notice now, this is a link to a PowerPoint document. I'm going to add another one just to show you the add link again here. There we go from address. So I'm just going to link to this tips section on our website. When I click next to one of these links, the links tab opens up in my ribbon up here. So let's look at this. I can of course choose to open that in a new tab and I can also use a display icon there. Sometimes, there we go, now it, it shows up, then uh, it picks up the proper icon for the file it's being linked to. So for when you're linking to a document, I think that option there, the display icon is very useful. However, if I'm linking to a web page and choose display icon there, you'll notice that that white rectangle there is kind of boring. But you do definitely want to have control over if it's going to open in a new tab or not. And in this case, when I'm opening another web page, then opening in a new tab is a good idea. You also want to give a description of the link. Now I'm on that link, of course. So more tips or something like that. And that's what's going to show up when I hover above that link once I've saved the page. And I'm going to go ahead and save that page. And you'll notice that when I hover here, I get more tips over that, as you see. So those are the two basic ways of linking. First of all, you can add a link to an item that's already in your SharePoint site collection, or you can just type in the address. Of course, it's a very useful thing. Now, if I go to another site that I want to link to, I'm going to open this in a new tab, just find the 2016 kickoff here, for example. Always when you see something that's interesting, so it's these pics, for example, you can always right click there and copy the shortcut. And the shortcut is another name for a link or an address or a URL. It's one of those things that have a lot of names. So if I want to add a link to that now, I can just insert the link to an address and then just paste that address that I just copied. That's a very useful skill to have also. Because, of course, you don't want to keep copying and pasting information back and forth between different Places. That's not really how the web works. You want to point to here's more information, go there, click here to read more about this. That concludes my first demo on links. Thank you for watching.